Hello and welcome to Spencer's Library. I'm Claudia and this is the TBR. This is the shelf that you see in the background of all of my videos and it holds my unread books. Now I wasn't planning to make a video today, I certainly wasn't planning to make this video, but today is a difficult day. Today is Tuesday the 15th of January and that means that uh, it's a very important day in UK politics because the uh, House of Commons is going to vote on Theresa May's Brexit deal. Now by the time you're watching this you basically know what happened next but obviously I don't. Today is supposed to be a day that I sit down and work on my PhD all day and do nothing else. I didn't have any plans to do anything YouTube related today but I simply can't focus. And what do you do when you can't focus and you're distracted? You do a big old clear out of your TBR. So that is the plan today. As you can see, there's piles of books everywhere. And um, I don't just want to reorganize this. I also want to do a little bit of a declutter, or as we like to say, an unhaul. And I want to take inventory of the books that I have on my TBR. So I'm going to write a list of all of the books that I've got on my TBR. And hopefully that will help me this year to, um, to stick to my... Uh, resolution of trying to reduce the amount of books that I have on my TBR. I'm also going to sort these probably alphabetically by author surname because that's how I keep my red books organized on my bookshelf in my living room. <laughs> Look who's here to help me! Beetle, you're too cute for the world not to see. So, with a, a little bit of feline help, let's get going. Okay, so I've just uh, unceremoniously dumped all of my books onto the floor because I want to give the shelf itself a good old spray and a wipe. Now my shelf is free of books and free of dust. So now we start with the real work. I'm going to look at every single book uh, and then see if it belongs in my TBR or not. And if it does, I shall put it on the TBR. Pretty simple, right? So I'm trying to only keep books on my TBR that I will read. That means that books that I've just got that are unread, but I, that I don't think I will read, they're not going to go on there. They will be unhauled. Um, books that I have read already but ended up on the TBR for some reason. Maybe I've listened to the audiobook or maybe I got the ebook. They don't belong on the TBR either. They will go downstairs onto my bookshelf. Let's see if we can reduce the size of that TBR a little bit. First book I picked up is The Break by Marianne Keys. This doesn't sound like my kind of book at all. I own this because uh, an ex-colleague of mine gave it to me. Uh, she knows that I like reading, so she occasionally, well, before she quit the job, occasionally gave me books that she'd read that she really liked. But if I'm being really honest with myself, I just don't think that this is my kind of book. It's it's some sort of relationship story, but it's also absolutely huge. And I feel like there are big books on that TBR that I am more likely to pick up. So this is going to get unhauled. And then we have My Cousin Rachel by Daphne du Maurier. Now this is definitely going on the TBR. I'm hoping to read this one this year. Um, so I will put it on there. Now, since I'm aiming to um, alphabetically organize my TBR, I'm never quite sure with surnames like Du Maurier. If you file it under D or under M, I'm going to file it under M and put it roughly in the middle. It's not going to stand up, is it? Ah, here we have the Rilke book that I very kindly got from Andrea from Infinite Text. This was a wonderful little Christmas present. Definitely going to read this and I shall put it over here. 
also another one of the books that Andrea gave me. Um, this is The Reader by Bernhard Schlink. Well, it's the original German version called Der, Vor Der Vorleser. And this will also go on the TBR. There we go. This is very precarious right now. Here we have Changeling by Philippa Gregory, a book that I recently hauled because uh, she was recommended to me as a good writer of historical fiction. Now this is a historical YA novel, which is a genre I used to absolutely love. Um, I used to read a lot of German historical YA, so I'm quite excited to try out an English language book of that genre. It's over here. What have we got here? Ian Caldwell and Dustin Thomason, The Rule of Four. This is another one that was recommended to me when I was asking for very specific recommendations. Uh, this apparently is a novel that has the main character being a PhD student. There we go. Right. Let's see how long this lasts. So the next book I've got is... Uh, a collection of Doctor Who short stories that focus on the villains of Doctor Who by Dave Rudd and this was another wonderful Christmas present from my friend Rob and that's definitely going on the TBR. Ah, uh, this is a collection of cat related, um, I would say stories slash quotes, slash illustrations. It's basically uh, quotes about cats from throughout history. Now this is not the sort of book that I think I will read from start to finish, but I do think it makes a wonderful little coffee table book. Obviously once I've taken the charity shop prize stickers out. Um, so I'm going to put this on the coffee table in my living room and it's not going on the TBR. This is another one that uh, that ex-colleague of mine gave me. Uh, a Passionate Love Affair with a Total Stranger by Lucy Robinson. Again, I just don't think I will pick this up. Uh, it, it might be a very good book, but it's just not talking to me. It's just not saying, read me. Uh, so I will put this aside for now. That and the Marianne Keys book, before I unhaul them, I will look up some synopses and some reviews of those on Goodreads because maybe um, the cover and the titles are deceiving and it is something that I would be interested in reading. So I'm not going to get rid of them straight away, but they are not going on my TBR for now. Silas Mana by George Eliot, straight on there. Ian Forster, Where Angels Fear to Tread. Do I need to say more? I am planning to read all of Ian Forster's novels. So, there you go. Claire McIntosh, Let Me Lie. That's the one Claire McIntosh I haven't read yet that Guestminster Robin lent me. So that is going on the TBR and it's going to be made a little bit of priority because I don't really like holding on to borrowed books for so long and I've had this one a while already. Where do you go? Go here. J.K. Rowling, Fantastic Beasts, Somewhere to Find Them. So I haven't read through the script yet, but again, I don't think that's the sort of thing that I will read from cover to cover. I think this is a, a, a book that I'm happy to own. I got this for Christmas the year before last, when two years ago, when Fantastic Beasts came out. Uh, and I haven't picked it up yet, so I just don't think I'm going to read this from cover to cover, but I will definitely keep this on my bookshelf. Ken Follett, The Pillars of the Earth. This is another one that I bought in a charity shop on the recommendation of viewers. So, straight on there. Well, I say straight on there, I have to figure out where it goes, but it goes between Elliot and Forster. North and South by Elizabeth Gaskell. Now, uh, I've actually read this one, so I don't know why it's even on here. However, I did not like it, so I am going to unhaul this, because my policy for keeping books on my bookshelf is that they are books that I want to reread or that I keep for other sentimental reasons, and uh, neither is the case with this book, really, so I am going to get rid of it. Michael Ende, Die Zauberschule. 
Und andere Geschichten. This is a, a collection of children's short stories that my husband got me in my advent calendar last year. And this one will be read. Philip Pullman, The Book of Dust. I am going to read this uh, after I finish slash start my reread of whatever the third uh, His Dark Materials novel is. Is that the one about the spyglass? Ben Elton, Dead Famous. This is another one that my husband got me. Uh, this, I believe, is a sort of Big Brother, as in Big Brother, the reality TV show, inspired crime novel. Sounds fun. Sounds very early 2000s. Looking forward to reading this. Oh no! How do I still have this? This is really bad. This is The Two Princesses of Mama by Gail, Gail Carson Levine and I have read this but what's really bad about this is the friend that lent it to me has now moved to America. Oh no Ellie I'm so sorry especially since I know this is one of her favorite uh, books from her childhood. Oh I'll have to I'll have to post her that. I feel really quite bad about this. Next up we have The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain. It's not high on my priority list of books to read, but I'm planning to read it someday, so back it goes. The Glass Books of the Dream Eaters by G.W. Dahlquist. You know, I've, I've had this book on my TBR for years and years, and I've started reading it several times, and I couldn't make it past the first few chapters, so why am I even holding on to this? Then we have Fingersmith by Sarah Waters. That's another recent acquisition, uh, also based on the recommendations from viewers that I got on uh, as comments on that video. So obviously I'm keeping this. The Secret Garden by Frances Hodgson Burnett. Definitely planning to read that one quite soon. Dracula by Bram Stoker. Now this one might be one for Victober. Yes, I'm already planning for Victober in January, but uh, I think October is the right time to read a book like this. Then we have another Ian Forster, this is The Longest Journey. Goes right with the other one. Oops. <laughs> the Keeper of Lost Things by Ruth Hogan. A present from my mother-in-law, she really enjoyed it, so I trust her judgement and I shall put that on the TBR. Jamaica Inn by Daphne du Maurier. Do I need to say more? That's going straight back on there. Straight on where? Straight on here. Oh, Anne Bronte, The Tenant of Wildfire Hall. I have read this. This does not belong on my TBR, so it goes on my bookshelf. Gilead by Marilyn Robinson. Uh, everyone who's read this has told me to read this, so I will read this. Alexander McCall Smith, The Number One Lady Detective Agency. Yep, that, that goes... Back on the TBR, planning to read this one day. Again, does this go under Mc for McCall or S for Smith? I'm going to put it under S for Smith. This is uh, The Clan of the Cave Bear by Jean M. Owl. Another one I bought on your recommendation. And that was the really annoying one that I bought in Waterstone for £10 and then found the next day in a local charity shop for 75p. And that's what I get for trying to buy new books. What have we got here? Ah, this is a beautiful German translation of The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. I love the Germanized uh, writing of the name of Oscar Wilde. I am not going to read this one. I've read the novel. It's, it's one of my favorite novels, which is why I'm so happy to have this version written in German Frakturschrift. I believe the translation is from, I want to say the 1920s. I think I looked this one up. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful object, but it doesn't belong on the TBR because I'm not going to pick this off there and then read it from start to finish. And the Beautiful Dead by Belinda Bauer. This is a, another um, book that I borrowed from guest spinster Robin who enjoyed this. So that goes on here. Der Schwarm by Frank Schätzing. This is, uh, in English, is called The Swarm. And this was a pretty big thriller about 10 years ago. 
maybe slightly longer than 10 years ago, maybe it's more like 15 years ago. But I didn't read it back then, I'm going to read it now. Ah, this is uh, Poesie Berte by my mother. And uh, I... Again, this is tricky because I haven't actually read this. I've read a few poems from this. Oh yeah, it's a collection of, of poems. Uh, but something about my own mum having written this kind of stops me from reading the whole book. So therefore, by my definition, this doesn't go on my TBR and I will instead put it on my bookshelf. And then we have Terry Pratchett, A Reaper Man. This is a Discworld novel. One that I think I might have read, but if I have read it, it's been many years. And I don't remember much about it. So back on the TBR it goes. It took me an unreasonable amount of time just now to figure out whether Pratchett goes before or after Pullman. The alphabet, not my strong suit. Then we have Holes by Louis Sasha, and uh, I did read this one a long time ago in school, so I'm going to consider it unread uh, because I feel like this is one that I do want to read again from start to finish. Here we have The Ode Less Travelled by Stephen Fry, and this is one of the many books that I'm technically currently reading according to Goodreads. Uh, the truth is, I haven't opened this book in in months, so I think I'm going to DNF it. Yeah, I think that's what's going to happen. I'm just not that interested in poetry, I guess. Oh, this is tough. But off it goes, let's take out the bookmark. And off it goes on the unhaul pile. Two more Terry Pratchett's. Uh, this is Pyramids and Masquerade, neither of which I've read. So, Where's the other one? I just put it there. Um, the Phantom of the Opera by Gaston Leroux in a translation into German. Yes, I will read this. I'm not going to read it in French. And if I do read translations, I prefer to read them translated into German rather than English. This is a collection of three novels by the Bronte sisters. Now, um, this is another present, I believe, from a sister-in-law from quite a few years ago now. And I have read two of the novels, Wuthering Heights and Jane Eyre. The third novel in this is Agnes Grey by Anne Bronte. I am planning to read Agnes Grey, but this book, beautiful as it is with its gilded pages and weird smell of risotto, this is not the sort of book that I will pick up and read and take with me in my backpack. So I'm going to move this from my TBR to my bookshelf because when I do pick up Anne Bronte's Agnes Grey, which I'm intending to do, I'll probably buy it as a separate book or download it onto my Kindle. Der Zauberberg by Thomas Mann. This is a big hefty book, but one that I am intending to tackle one day. Lord of the Flies by William Golding, another one that I am intending to read one day. And Gulliver's Travels by Jonathan Swift. Yeah, of course I'm going to read it. Where's the goat? Where does this go? And then I have a German classic, E.T.R. Hoffmann, Das Fräulein von Scuderie, and a, um, what's it called in English? Annotations? Uh, a study guide? Anyway read these in school, but it's been a long time and I've been meaning to reread uh, this one, so it goes back on the TBR. Next up I have The White Witch by Elizabeth Googe. Uh, yeah, I'm technically meant to be buddy reading this with Amber from Amber Unabridged, but I haven't read in it for a while, so I need to message her and apologise and get back on to that. Sorry Amber. Brighton Rock by Graham Greene goes on there and so does pictures at an exhibition by DM Thomas. These are both charity shop finds. Uh, Brighton Rock has been recommended to me by Robin the Guest Spinster as well. Where Where is T in the alphabet? Where is it? Oh it's after S isn't it? Okay. Here is His Dark Materials by Philip Pullman, the collection of the three novels. Um, I reread the first two last year 
I want to say last year, last year or the year before that. So I want to reread the third, which I still can't remember the title of. Next I have two books that are edited and published by The New Scientist. One of them called Do Polar Bears Get Lonely and the other one Does Anything Eat Wasps? These are answers to intriguing science questions according to the covers, but um, I didn't find them that interesting to be honest. I've had this on my bedside table, both of these, for a while, uh, just intending to pick them up at night when I can't sleep or whatever, but I never do, so I'm going to unhaul them. Then we have uh, Robin Hood by Henry Gilbert. Now I thought this was the version that my brother really liked to read when we were children because he uh, re read and reread Robin Hood over and over again in German translation of course. But I realised that that was actually the version written by Howard Pyle. I believe this is slightly later, this is early 20th century. But I'm still interested in reading it so on the TBR it goes. Also, Autumn by Ali Smith. I've been hearing mixed uh, reviews of this one, but I, I have never read any Ali Smith, so I think I might enjoy it, and a lot of people do. Going on the TBR, The Boy in the Striped Pyjamas by John Boyne, on recommendation of uh, Robin from... Well, I was going to say Robin from The Guest Spinster, but she does not, as of yet, have her own YouTube channel. Um, I have a feeling I'm not going to like this one, just because... I'm a bit picky with my Second World War narratives uh, and I don't like it when they mess things up. But it is a very short book so I'm going to give this a chance and put it on the TBR. We are getting to the end of this. The next book is I See You by Claire McIntosh. I have read this therefore it doesn't go on the TBR. In fact it doesn't go in my house at all because this is another one I borrowed. So it shall be returned. A Rapture by Carol Ann Duffy, one of my many attempts at reading poetry. I believe this is another one that I'm technically currently reading on Goodreads, but I'm not actually reading it. However, I'll probably give it a go, right? A German contemporary from a few years ago, Altes Land by Dörte Hansen. Yeah. I, I don't have much to say about it because I don't know what it's about, but I'll probably give it a chance. Then we have a book on English social history by G.M. Trevelyan. I believe this is from a long time ago. This is from 1944. It's a beautiful book, but am I going to read it? No. So I think I will actually unhaul this. I bought this uh, in a charity shop or second hand shop a few years ago. Just because I like the idea and the look of it, but I'm kind of over keeping books as objects if I don't have any emotional connection to them and I don't so off it goes back to the charity shop Freddie Mercury biography by Peter Freestone this one's supposed to be really good so I'm going to keep this one if you like reading some non-fiction collection of poems by Bertolt Brecht yes I will keep this as well I'm still trying to become a person who appreciates poetry and I can't try and become that person without actually having some poetry on my shelves. And then we have uh, The Geeky Chef Cookbook by Cassandra Reader. This was a Christmas present from last year. But a cookbook is not the sort of thing you pick up and read start to finish. So really, this should go in my kitchen rather than on my TBR. Um, this is a beautifully cloth bound old version of Goethe poems. Also uh, printed like this. Um, but I will read this one. I was I was planning to read some Goethe poems and uh, Yeah, it'll be lovely to read it from an old book like this Okay, we're getting to the end of it now um, I found two classics that I've already read and therefore that don't go on my TBR one is uh, Faust by Goethe which I read last year and the other one is Oliver Twist by Charles Dickens, which I also read last year. Uh, both of these, yeah, they, they shouldn't be on the TBR because they are not to be read, they are already read. So off they go onto my bookshelf. Then I have I Let You Go by Claire McIntosh. This is another one that I borrowed from Robin and have yet to return to her despite having finished this book for many months now. Sorry. Um, I have a book by Jenny Erpenbeck, Gehen Gehen Gang. I bought this one last time I went to Germany, which is now almost exactly a year ago. Wow. 
uh, but I haven't read it yet, so it goes on the TBR. And as does this kind of ugly looking version of uh, A Clockwork Orange by Anthony Burgess. Burgess? How do you actually pronounce his name? I don't know. Also going on the TBR is Tilly the Ugliest Cat in the Shelter uh, by Celia Haddon. Now clearly the um, the designer of this cover could have picked an uglier cat. Uh, I, I would have volunteered Minerva as well. She's She's cute but she's not the prettiest. This is a library book. Uh, my university library has automatic um, extensions and I and I really should return this one. Then we had probably the book that I got for Christmas that I'm most fond of. This is a, um, I think the only novel by Rainer Maria Rilke, but it's in Swedish. So I got this one from Andrea from Infinite Text. She she told me that she went into a, a local secondhand bookshop that has got a lot of international and translated literature. And the bookseller gave her this as being German. So clearly the bookseller d doesn't know their European languages. Um, but I am going to keep this because I think it's such a lovely, lovely thing. And you know what, Andrea, if, if I come across a person who um, knows and reads Swedish, I might pass this on to them with the story of how it got to my hands. However, this does not go on my TBR because I don't speak Swedish, so I'm not going to read this one. Um, so I'll put it on my bookshelf. This definitely goes on my TBR. Oh, look at this stupid little face. There you go. And um, Minerva. Something I notice every time I look at my TBR is that German spines, like these ones, go the other way from English spines, like these ones. Does anyone know why that is? I'd be really interested. Okay, last books? It is the last books. Uh, I have a Jean Plady, The Sixth Wife. Again, I I think this is a historical uh, novel author that has been recommended to me and I also have a collection of uh, grim fairy tales which I am intending to read so they both go is that everything oh no there's also this this is the Hogwarts library so this is um, Quidditch through the ages the Tales of Beale Labard and the original Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. All of these I have read, so I don't know what they're doing on my TBR. And I shall put them on the bookshelf. Right, I'm going to have to prop up the books. But with more books. Like such. Uh, because I don't have bookends. I really want some, but I, I find them quite expensive when I see them new. So maybe I'll see if I can DIY some book and somehow if, if you have any ideas for that or any links, please let me know in the comments. And there we go. This is what my TBR looks like now. Much nicer, right? Much more compact. And all of these are books that I actually haven't read and want to read. So now I'm just going to sit in my laptop for a bit and make a list of all of the books I own. You know what, I might even handwrite it. Might even handwrite it and hang it up somewhere so I have a, a visual list of the books that I own and then I can plan my reading better. I'm very much a mood reader so I don't do much planning even in the best of times. But uh, this has certainly helped me organise uh, my reading a bit better, reminding me of some books that I forgotten that I owned and also it's very much helped me distract myself from the anxiety of this very important day in British politics. Thank you for watching. Bye!